So here's a video on how to mic up a saxophone. Now you could do this as a single mic setup in exactly the same way as you would for a vocal setup. However, we're gonna develop that a little bit further. And the reason for that development, we need a little bit of anatomy lesson on how a saxophone actually works. So people think that when you play in the saxophone, the player blows in one end, and the sound comes out of the bell, like it would with a trumpet. Okay, now that is not strictly true, okay? It only comes out of the bell if the player has all of the holes covered, okay? If the player is playing the lowest note on the instrument, then all of these holes are covered, and that means that the air goes all the way through and comes out of the bell. So the right place there would be to have a microphone in front of the bell. However, because the saxophone changes notes by having different holes covered, the sound source effectively moves up and down the instrument as you play. So actually, we're gonna use a double microphone setup to make sure we pick up as much of that sound as possible. Because for example, if I'm playing the highest note on the saxophone up here, okay, then this hole is open and the air is coming out of here rather than here. So we need a, a different point if I'm playing this note here, then the sound is coming out of here rather than here. So we need a little bit more of a complicated setup than we would with just the vocals. You could do a perfectly reasonable recording with just a single mic, but we're always looking for opportunities to show our BTEC examiner that we have pushed things a little bit and that we, have, we understand recording technique really nicely. So we're gonna do a double microphone setup as follows. For this, we're going to need all of the usual kind of stuff and two microphone stands. Let's set those first of all. Now I'm using this one. This is not one of the KM stands. Um, this is one of the, one of the cheaper stands, uh, shall we say. But I'm using this one because it already has a large thread on it and that works really nicely um, with our um, with our Samsung CA1 microphones, which already have that thread. So I'm just gonna make sure everything is ready. So this mic stand is going to do a microphone directly in front of the player. We're gonna call this the bell mic, right? The end of the saxophone, Okay, this here, this is called the bell, and that is the first one that we're going to do. So we're going to mic that up first. So I'm going to guess at the height of this. I'm going to take a Samson CO1, okay, one of our condenser microphones. Working tidy all the time, tidy up after myself. Ah, now it actually happens to have a thread converter in it and unhelpfully, the thread converter has been put in backwards. See how the notches aren't facing outwards? It now makes it a bit of a pain for me to get it out. Someone who set this up didn't watch my last video or hasn't watched the videos in the past. I'm just gonna spin that until it comes out. Store that properly, which the, uh, the last person didn't do. Mic facing forward. Again, spin the stand, not the mic. Okay, now if you're recording saxophone, it will probably be for me playing. Therefore, let's get this in a nice position that I would be happy with. Yep, seems about right there, okay. So, we're gonna need an XLR cable. I happen to have these ones hanging on the wall. Bit of a tangle, always the way when I do these videos. Okay, and we're gonna use channels one and two, which happen that they haven't got anything plugged into them at all at the moment, so that's quite helpful. Let's go with the bell mic on channel one. Okay, female end of the microphone into there. Okay, phantom power is left on all the time, so we've now got power for the condenser. So, so far it's exactly the same as a vocal setup. We don't need a pop filter, okay, don't have anything like that to worry about with the saxophone. Uh, but we've got everything plugged in. Uh, I'm going to turn the gain controls down for leveling later. Let's make sure everything's down, okay? The second mic that we're gonna use, as we're using two different microphones, it makes sense to get a nice mix of different captures. So we're actually gonna use a completely different type of mic. We could, we do have another Samsung CO1. We could put one just over here and uh, you know we could do it. But as we've got the opportunity to use two microphones, let's use a nice dynamic. So I'm gonna take this second microphone. This is one of the K&Ms. Okay, open up the tripod as you've done with lots of other uh, projects so far. Put this over to the side, and I'm gonna raise this one up, right? This one is going to be recording my top hand as I'm playing. Okay, the microphone we're gonna use for this one is a Shure SM57, up here on the shelf, labeled, stored properly. Okay, and 
Now this is a beautiful dynamic mic. Works really, really nicely. Okay, it's a bit of a classic microphone. It's actually one that the US president uses whenever he's uh, talking. So it's a very, very famous, well-known microphone. Please look after it. We've only got one and um, yeah, look after it. So we're gonna need a clip. So let's find something of suitable size. That'll work. And I'm gonna need a thread converter for this. Where's the one that I just put back in? There it is. Okay, so notches out. Screw it in, doesn't have to be all the way. And as before, when we were setting up anything overhead wise or anything like that, spin the stand, not the mic. Okay, and what we're looking for is to be just over to the side of my top hand. So this is sort of recording the bottom end of the saxophone, and this is recording the top end of the saxophone. Okay, that will do uh, quite nicely. Could be that I also need a music stand, okay, but that's a, a separate consideration. But if I'm reading off sheet music, that would go just over here. And that's gonna give us a really nice impression. We need to connect this mic, however. So XLR cable. We're gonna go into channel two. Why is it whenever I do a video, I get really tangly? Never normally happens, I promise. Okay, female end of the microphone, exactly the same as any other mic connection in. Use the clips as we've got them. Okay, around the back, keep everything nice and tidy. Okay, and that is gonna give us a nice collection um, of a saxophone with two different types of microphone. One thing that's really worth saying is you're gonna need far more gain on the dynamic to get to negative 18 than you are on the condenser. Remember the condenser is much more sensitive, so not gonna need a great deal of gain on that at all to get a nice quality signal off the saxophone. The dynamic, you're going to need more and that is absolutely fine. Let's just check this playing position with my saxophone. Okay, not gonna set it up fully, but I know what it, know what it feels like. So you can see, there we go. So we're picking up the bell and the top end of the saxophone. That's gonna give us a really nice quality recording.